Hey cool worlders, it's David. Something quite bizarre is happening to our planet's climate this month. Right now we have more questions than answers, but I'm going to break down to you in this video what's going on. It all started with a plot which went somewhat viral on the internet last week, made by somebody going by the handle Witness. What we are seeing here is the total amount of the planet covered by sea ice over time. And as you can see, it takes a nosedive this month in an unprecedented way. Now, Whitney's regularly makes dozens of plots relating to different climate metrics, but this one really took the internet by storm because the implications appeared quite shocking. So before we go any further, let's fact check if this is actually correct or not. One possible concern was that this plot might have been doctored in some way. Because, I mean, the handle Whitney's is a little bit odd, and after all, this plot is really strange. Now, my research isn't on the Earth's climate. I'm not funded in any way to study the Earth's climate, but I am an astronomer used to looking at large data sets, and so I decided to go ahead and independently verify this data set for myself. So I FTP'd into the data archive, downloaded the data myself, and made my own plot. And sadly, yes, I get the same answer. So here's my plot. If you want to make this yourself, I'm putting a link down below in the description for the data source, which comes from the National Snow and Ice Data Center. Additionally, I'm also putting up a link to my script, which was made in Mathematica, from which I made these plots. So everything is completely transparent. Now, crucially, it's not just the sea ice which is behaving weird. The average temperature in the Arctic is several degrees Celsius above normal right now. In fact, on some days, the temperature has been recorded to be a whopping 20 degrees Celsius above normal, or 37 degrees Fahrenheit. I mean, that's huge. So of course, these record high temperatures make sense for this observation of record low sea ice levels. Okay, so what's going on? Well, there are two main sources of sea ice on our planet the Arctic in the north and the Antarctic in the south. And this viral plot is showing the combination of the two. Now, climate scientists don't usually make plots of the combined sea ice. That's because the Antarctic and the Arctic should behave quite differently to one another. They should be broadly uncorrelated. Plotted separately, you know, things don't look so scary, but the confluence of both decreases is what makes the global plot look so alarming. The Antarctic is coming into the summer right now, so it makes sense that it's losing sea ice. Perhaps it's just experiencing a particularly warm season this year. On the other hand, the Arctic is coming into the winter right now, so it should be recovering all of the sea ice which it lost during the summer months, but it's doing so at a record low rate. Now, whilst the global sea ice extent is anomalously low, it may be that this is just a natural cycle which happens maybe, say, every 50 years or something, and we just don't have satellite records going back far enough to have previously witnessed it. Or it may be that we are passing a tipping point for our climate, and the anomalous behavior that we have seen this year will just become the new normal in years ahead. Right now, we don't conclusively know what is responsible for this particular observation, but we do know that human activity is leading to the planet's climate to change, and thus, weird observations like this should be expected to happen more frequently going forward. The case that we are affecting the planet's climate is actually pretty simple. First, from ice core records, we know that carbon dioxide and temperature are highly correlated over the last few hundred thousand years. And this is not a random pair of variables to compare. We know carbon dioxide's chemical properties cause it to act as a greenhouse gas thereby trapping heat. And so carbon dioxide has a clear physical mechanism to operate as the cause of past temperature rises rather than the effect. Second, human activity is leading to a rapid rise in carbon dioxide on our planet. Just last year, the concentration of carbon dioxide exceeded 400 parts per million. That's a level not seen since before human beings walked the earth. For these two simple reasons, human activity is expected to affect the planet's climate with the zeroth order model being that we'll make it hotter. And indeed, that's what we've observed to happen over the last few decades. You can click here for Gavin Schmidt's video explaining how we measure all these temperature changes. When we talk about climate change, it's often perceived as a political issue, and it's hard to see past that stigma. Instead of being about the science, it becomes crystallized in our minds as the position of a particular party or ideology. But the question as to whether humans are affecting our planet's climate is not a political one. It's a scientific one, with a clear consensus predicting dire consequences for our way of life. This is not about saving the planet Earth itself. She'll be fine. She's been warmer than this in the past. It's about saving us, our coastal cities, our agriculture, our economy, our health, and the prospect of millions upon millions of climate refugees. As an astronomer, I would say that we are trying to prevent what might represent the great filter truncating our young civilization's growth. 
Perhaps this is a fate common to Earth-like planets elsewhere in the galaxy. But time is running out on this issue. We have to act now, today. We should forget the quick fixes of planetary scale engineering projects. Those solutions may end up being more dangerous than the CO2 emissions themselves. A solid solution is to transition to a carbon neutral economy. It's often perceived that going green means killing our GDP. But the nation which masters green technology and sells it to other shores will reap massive economic benefits, both by selling it to others and by helping to avoid the catastrophic economic consequences expected by a 5 degrees Celsius temperature rise. So I'd say let's try to look after our own cool world and keep it cool. Be sure to tell people about what is happening to our planet. Of course, one way you can do that is by sharing this video. Thank you so much for watching this video, everybody. Until next time, stay thoughtful. Stay curious.